More than 75% of Canadians don't get enough fiber. We're going to change that with this magical <laughs> salad. Registered dietitian Shannon Crocker joins us with a salad that's really going to boost your fiber. And you may be wondering, why am I wearing a glove? Well, there's going to be some massaging <laughs> of kale some coming up. Some yes. <laughs> right. So three quarters of us don't get enough fiber. We need it for optimal health. It's great for gut health, for digestive health, mm -hmm. heart health, uh, brain health. It's good to help to manage blood sugars. So we need to get and more of it. And it fills you up. And it helps you feel satisfied. Yeah. It fills you up. Yeah. And most of us aren't getting enough. It's coming from plant foods only. That's where you're going to get it. So today we're going to create a delicious salad filled with all sorts of different plants. Okay. With kale. Kale. Yeah. Kale and roasted lentils. So that's the first thing we're going to do actually is you're going to roast lentils. So you're going to take a, just a can of lentils, mm -hmm. drain them, rinse them, pat them dry, toss them with a bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder, roast them for 25 or 15 minutes at 425. And what's going to happen is the texture is going to change. They're going to become a little more crispy, a little more chewy. Okay. See, I'm going to try this because I like lentils, but the texture sometimes is like not me too. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Okay. So that's so this is the way that I do them and I love them. And it doesn't change the nutritional value. No, the of nutritional them at all. value is great, still packed with protein okay. and really rich in fiber. And very, very affordable. And very affordable, yeah. budget friendly for sure. Okay. Um, so then we're going to, while that's co that's cooking, we're going to do our kale. So we're going to start off with about four cups of chopped kale. Okay. You can use whatever kind of kale you like. Wait, don't massage oh, quite oh, yet. Oh, oh. Jump in the gun. Jump too early. <laughs> I'm like, I've got this glove. I need to use it. <laughs> We're actually going to put on two tablespoons of the vinaigrette. Now, this is a tangy maple vinaigrette, just a hint of sweetness from the maple syrup. And I'm not going to lie, this vinaigrette was the reason I asked her to do the salad because I had a choice between a dessert and other stuff. I'm like, I saw the recipe for the vinaigrette and I'm like, oh, it's got maple salad. syrup it's in it. It's so good. It's so good. Yeah. So you, now you're okay, going to massage it. So you're going to go I in, you're going to scrunch it up. This is and going really to really scrunch it. Really up. scrunch it. This is going to help to soften up the kale so that it's not um, tough when you when you eat it. So okay. it's going to soften it up a little bit. It's also going to help to take out the bitterness a little bit. So some people find kale a little bit bitter, okay. but this is going to help to take out some of that. And why would you use kale in this recipe instead of like say romaine lettuce or, right. or any other green? Well, it's very hearty. With the rest of the ingredients, it holds up really well. Okay. Yeah. Look, so there you go. It's going all over the place, but that's okay. The, that's I think that's good. So you're going to do okay. it for about a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to add on the rest of the ingredients. So first up, we're going to add on pear. Okay. Now pear is one of the uh, fruits that's richest in oh, just fiber. Dump. Just dump it all over the place. Yeah, we're going to toss oh, it oh. together, so it's okay. okay. It's in. It's good. Yeah, it's in. <laughs> um, so it's got about six grams of fiber per pear. Makes a great snack. Okay. All right, then we'll add in some coarsely grated carrot. And if you didn't want to use carrot, you could use roasted sweet potato if you have a little bit more time. But I love the like bright color that this provides. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to add in peas. Now peas people in a might, salad. I know. It's actually really delicious. They, I just run it under hot water so that they, they don't get mushy. They still are a little bit firm. They're so just it's added, frozen peas. Frozen peas defrosted adds a nice little pop of flavor and a neat texture and a, a nice little bit of color. Okay. So, and they're very also budget friendly and very rich in fiber. Mm -hmm. Next up, we're going to add on some cheese. Okay. Now this is old cheddar cheese. That's going to actually work really well with all the flavors here. And this is the only thing in the salad that doesn't have fiber because fiber is only found in plant food. Okay. But it's going to add delicious. We've got less than a minute left. Okay, we're going to add on the almonds. All now, of this? Slivered almonds, yeah. So we're going to mm. add on some toasted slivered almonds. Also, nuts and seeds have fiber. And some dried cranberry. We'll just shake that on there. This could be a meal. This is absolutely a meal. Okay. Yeah, this would serve four people as a meal, or you can take it to a potluck. So I'm just going to oh. drizzle on the rest of the dressing. And, and then it you holds, can... right? It doesn't go absolutely. wilted or anything like and that. You can give this a toss in that if you okay. want. Okay. This is, oh my gosh, we forgot the lentils. Oh, the lentils. Okay. <laughs> okay and as I'm doing in. this, yeah. Yeah. all of that. There so you a whole go. can in there. Okay. A whole can. Yeah. So absolutely. as I'm doing this, we'll get the, we uh, the recipe up on our website, chch.com. And of course, we'll get all your socials up there because you're Perfect. testing a whole bunch of different Perfect. recipes. And I cannot wait to have this for lunch. It smells so good. You Thank can you. Smell it dressing. smells yeah. so good. I think you're going to love this okay. one. Okay. <laughs> Thanks so much, Shannon. <laughs> My pleasure.